Right, so we've looked at how you can get video input into our sketch. Now let's look at how we can access the pixels of each of those frames. So you've got some um, double webcam going on here. This is the same template we had before. Um, I am going to change this just a little bit. I'm going to make my video the same size as my canvas, which now we should see. Oh, it's getting a little cut off here. That's a little funky. It should be fine. Um, and I'm drawing my image here, but actually I don't want to display the video image. I just want to access its pixels. So I'm going to set the background here to be white. And um, we can access the pixels in the same way that you've done it with any image. So I could say video.loadPixels. That's going to give me access to that pixel list. Uh, and then we could go through them. So we could go uh, you know, in the Y direction. And we can get the size of it using video.height or video.width. And in this way, we could go through all the pixels in our video. Um, which is great, but um, one of the things that you're going to find really quickly is that um, video is slow. There's a ton of data. We're talking thousands or millions of pixels every single frame, 30 or 60 times a second. It's going to get really slow. Um, so what I want to do is use these pixels to kind of create a cool effect um, in where I'll use the brightness of the pixel to draw a circle that'll get bigger or smaller. And if I went by every pixel, it's just going to be too crazy. So instead, I'm going to create a variable called grid size. And um, let's just start this out at 50 pixels. And then instead of reading every pixel, I'm going to read uh, every grid size. So in this case, every 50 pixels. And that's certainly a number you could play with and see. Um, so then, just like in the last um, bunch of examples, when we did image processing, we want to access the uh, red value as an approximation for brightness. So I'm going to say um, the index is, if you remember, pop quiz, the uh, secret formula, it's y times the width plus x times 4. So that's the index in that pixels array. And then the red value will be video.pixels at that index. So we can use that now as an approximation for brightness to create the diameter of this grid of circles. So my diameter, we'll use map, are uh, the red values between 0 and 255. And um, let's make that a maximum. Um, so when it's its darkest, this is going to be its biggest. That'll be grid size. And the smallest, let's make it 2 pixels. And then we can use this to draw some shapes. So a black fill, no stroke, and a circle at x, y, and the diameter. And so now if we run this, we see this cool uh, sort of like bubble video. I don't know if you could tell what's going on here. My resolution is pretty small, but wherever um, the pixels are darkest, so like my shirt or uh, my head, um, you can see that the circles are really big. And wherever it's brightest, like the wall behind me, the, the circles are really small. Um, we could make this interactive if you want. So we could use map here. Uh, between ma uh, mouse x, between 0 and the width, between 0 and uh, 15 and 50. Um, but remember that map returns us a floating point number, a number with a decimal place. And uh, we can't get pixel 1.6 that does not exist. So then I'm going to wrap map here in this command int, which converts a float to an integer or a whole number. Um, and that just will prevent some issues there. So now if I refresh this, now you can see if my mouse is all the way over, you can kind of see pixelated me. It's a little easier to see. And you know, then we can zoom way in and get these big circles, which is pretty fun. And you can see it's running in real time. You know, It's not having any problems running um, at full speed here. And that's because I'm thinking ahead about how to like maximize the performance here. Um, there's one more thing I want to change. This is like a really small detail, but you'll notice in the corner, um, in the top here and in the left, oh, on this side, um, that the circles are on the edge. And I just want to move those over. This is a totally visual thing um, by grid size divided by two. This is so not necessary, but I think will make a big difference in just kind of like framing it and making it look nice. You could also figure out ways to make sure they're not cut off on the right side or the bottom. Um, but this is pretty cool. And it's just a really simple way of accessing the pixels in our video feed and doing something really fun with them. I'm sure you could think of lots of other things you could do here. 
You could color the um, circles the, the same color as the pixel underneath. You could average in that region um, to get a better sense of brightness. Lots of ways you could improve this, but basically we just access pixels in the same way that we do um, with an image, super easy.